Welcome to Cougar Mountain Software Denali Essential Training. Denali End of Year Closing Procedures Many users will wish to close their Denali modules and ledger from year to year. This procedure will total the ledger accounts and make a total balance forward entry for the organization which will be rolled into a retained earnings account. It will also involve resetting the year-to-date totals for each module and purging prior history if desired. Prior to closing the year, there are a few key steps that a user must perform. The first step is to post all possible transaction batches so that they are committed to the history and ledger. Once this is done, perform a backup of the organization database. Refer to the backup video for training and instructions. The next step is to create a copy of the organization as it is. This will basically take a snapshot and freeze the company prior to closing so that it can be referred to for historical information if needed. Refer to the Copy Organization Utility video for instructions on this. It is a good idea to name the copy with a date reference that will be recognized easily. After the backup and copy are done, the year-to-date totals in each module must be reset. These functions are all located in the period end menu in the individual modules. For accounts receivable, reset the year-to-date customer totals and credit card totals. This will zero out the amounts for the customers so that the totals will begin calculating from zero again. Similarly, reset the year-to-date vendor totals so that the 1099 information is accurate each year. Be sure to wait until all 1099s have been processed for the year. Temporary vendors can also be removed. If standard costing valuation is used in inventory, this can also be reset. LIFO, FIFO, and weighted average costing do not require reset. In sales, the credit card totals can be reset and the deposit journal, settled checks, and POS holds can be purged. Payroll only runs by calendar year due to tax requirements, so there are five calendar periods in order to permit tax and W-2 preparation. Denali does not permit processing beyond the fifth period in payroll, so the totals must be reset. When the year-to-date totals are reset, periods 1 through 4 are purged and period 5 is moved to period 1 for the current year. Payroll history is still saved until purged, much like other modules, but the transactions are no longer accessible. The general ledger closing is slightly different for fund customers versus standard accounting. Standard accounting only requires that the close year function be used. For fund customers, each fund must be closed individually prior to closing the year. Funds may have a different calendar year than the general ledger, so a fund may overlap the general ledger fiscal calendar. Once the funds have been closed, the same procedure can be followed as regular accounting to close the ledger. The user only needs to choose a retained earnings account where the debit or credit will be sent. The closing report will show the final entries to all ledger accounts and the retained earnings account entry. The fiscal calendar will close the prior year and the five-year calendar will roll forward. Only adjusting entries can be made after the fact. Once this is all done, processing can continue with the new calendar and reset totals. The history company copy can be used to reference old transactions.